Dan, how are you? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm, I'm good. I'm very good. I was just wondering, one of my favorite movies is called Free Enterprise. And I was bummed that the Wrath of Shatner panel got cancelled. Why did it get cancelled? No idea. And I was just wondering, I find it very similar in tone to your work. And uh -huh. I was just wondering if you've ever seen Free Enterprise. I did, actually. Like I paid to see Free Enterprise at uh, the Beverly Connection many, many years ago in Los Angeles. I enjoyed it. You got good taste. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Nobody has ever said that to me. <laughs> really, most of these people are like, your, your, your test is questionable and shit like that. Nobody's ever said you got good taste. Thanks, man. Hey. Hi, Kev. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Excellent, man. Uh, first of all, I've waited almost five hours in line to see you, and you're awesome. Thank you. I'm telling you, you don't um, need to wait five hours in line, though. You just come to my house, knock on the door, and and say, come down here, and I'll do it. <laughs> but I might be carrying chicken, so... Okay, my question is, when your daughter watches the infamous Kinky Curly and the Sexy Stud scene, yes. what is your reactionary speech to her? Um, I will be like, that's the kind of love you want in your life. <laughs> A guy who... Uh, don't never mind. You don't want that guy. I don't know. I, I wouldn't. It wouldn't bother me. I'd be like, that's what I thought was funny back in 2008 or 2006. You know what I'm saying? And I'm sure she'd be like, oh, Dad, it's so immature. And I'd be like, yeah, I know. <laughs> but I, I'm not afraid of her watching this stuff, man. I'm kind of actually looking forward to it because I'll take criticism from her. You know what I'm saying? I'm like she watched it, and years from now, she's like, I don't know, man. It's kind of one-dimensional, and all the characters sound like you. You know, I believe it from her coming from her. I'd be like, all right, right on. But what have you ever done? <laughs> but I look forward to it. I can't wait for her to watch it, uh, the stuff I've done. You know, it's, it's kind of a neat thing. We showed her stuff in the past when she was younger. We turned the volume down and showed her some of Jane Silent Bob Strike Back. And that was just, it was weird. It was like a function, like a big cartoon, very colorful and shit like that. And she knew people in it. But it may have sent her to a therapist couch as well and shit. Because she's like, there's Dad, and there's Uncle Jay, and they're hanging out with Scooby-Doo. <laughs> and Shaggy and shit like that. But she didn't buy it. She was very quick. She was like all the cats on the internet. First time she saw the clip, I was like, look, it's me, and Uncle Jay was Shaggy. She's like, that's not Shaggy. Shaggy has a green shirt. And I was like, oh, you're just like Harry fucking Knowles. Get off my ass. <laughs> all good, man? Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thanks for waiting for five hours. Sorry about that. Look at you. You're barely dressed. What's going on? Hey, Kevin. Hi. Hi. What's your costume? Uh, well, I'm Asylum. Yeah, I, I'm the goddess of a good time. And it's called Asylum? Yeah, it's actually my name backwards, Melissa. <laughs> Right on. Yeah. So this. So that's is, not a Greek god or something like uh, that. No, she just likes to have a good time. Okay. Basically, and I came here without like a costume, and it's my first time here, and it's awesome. I'm having such a good time, and felt a little out of place without a costume, so I kind of made up my own superhero. Right on, man. Yeah. So I'm here to talk to you as a you know Comic Con virgin. Okay. Uh, what was one of your most memorable experiences here? Uh, we showed Mallrats here back in 1995. Yeah. That was the first time I ever came here. Uh, I'd read about the con my whole life and shit like that. I read about it in Fangoria and Starlog and magazines like that long before the the internet ever existed. Um, you'd read about it in the back of comic books. Stan Lee would talk about it in a soapbox and shit. Never got to go myself, lived on the other side of the country. And then when we made Mallrats, we brought it here to screen at Horton Plaza. It was like a 300-seat theater. We gave out tickets, packed it, and screened it. And it screened religiously, man. It was just like, like the, the, the fucking Universal execs who were there were like, holy shit, these fuckers made E.T. Because <laughs> the audience fucking responded so rapidly to it. It was a film that was made directly for that audience, so they based everything on the Comic-Con screening and shit. Then when it went out into the real world, it was generally ignored, and so they were like, what happened to all your nerd friends? 
I was like, I guess they were seeing something better than that. They all saw it in Comic Con. But it was an awesome, regardless, it was an awesome time. And to be screening the movie there for that audience, the audience it was made for. And that was kind of like the first time that I actually kind of uh, connected with the audience that I'm most known for connecting with at this point was there at Comic Con. And, and I think there was, uh, the way I get it, the way I understand it, cats were just like, you made the movie about us at that moment in time. And, and I don't know, that, it, it felt cool. It felt like you were welcome because you were talking about something very, very small, but now that something is very, very large. Everybody, a lot more people involved in fandom yes. back in the day. Yeah, it's nice. It's very cool. Well, thank you for making my first experience here awesome. It's awesome here at Comic-Con. Thanks, guys. Thanks, man. I, was, I, was, I thought that thing was coming off the whole time, man. <laughs> I was like, sooner or later, it's going to be like, this is my first experience. Woo! <laughs> Turn this shit into Mardi Gras. Throw that lady some beads. <laughs> How are you, sir? I'm good. Um, first of all, I'd like to say that Clerks is the reason why I became a filmmaker and why I want to be a writer and director. Thanks, man. Yeah. I'm writing two scripts, like, right now, and I'm going to film school. Right on. Where are you going to uh, film school? Chapman. Okay. Um, I want to know if the uh, Clark's animated feature is, are you going to revive it or is it just fully dead? I like think it's, right it's kind of dead right now at the moment. Um, I, I, there's been no signs of life on it whatsoever. The property's still tied up over at Disney. Disney is trying to sell off the entire Miramax library. So once it lands somewhere, that would be the time to approach whoever owns it and be like, can I make a movie with my characters again, please? <laughs> Because they own it. So, um, I don't know, maybe somewhere down the line, once that library settles out, once it gets bought or doesn't get bought, depending on what's going on this week. All right, thanks. I that hope I can be on that stage someday. So You can yeah. come up right now. Let's come oh, up. Oh, sweet. Yeah, come on up. You'll see how awesome it is. Hey, man, how are you? Hey, how you doing, Kevin? Excellent. So, last year I was here, and... You uh, you said that I could tell people that we're friends. Can okay. I still call, tell people that we're friends? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome. But I don't know if it's going to get you very far this year. It got me the good table at Wendy's. It won't get you a good seat at Southwest. <laughs> uh. Thanks a lot, Kevin. Thanks, man.